time in Dallas, Texas with David Angeloni. David, welcome. Thank you for having me, William. David, uh, you're the chief scientist for Millennium Medical Te Technologies, correct? That is correct, yes. Um, David, tell us, I know that you guys are working on some exciting things. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I can um, briefly get into a few of the things that we're getting into, looking at um, stem cell and regenerative cell viability um, within lipoaspirate taken from tickle lipo and actually other techniques that are out there today. So we really want to try to take a look into what's going on at a cellular level within these, the lipoaspirates that's collected from patients right now and to see what is going to be the most conducive form of uh, uh, harvesting, collecting, and processing these cells um, for the future cell therapy. Perfect. David, tell us what this means specifically for a doctor that's uh, doing fat harvesting and considering stem cell procedures. Well, mainly for a doctor, he has several different concerns. Time in the surgery room, time the patient's going to be down, and the amount of fat in which he has available to harvest. One of the most important things that we have seen with tickle lipo is that we are a, uh, tickle lipo does what's called an in vivo dissociation of the lipoaspirate, and so we can actually, within a very short amount of time, pull a lot of stromal vascular fraction cells or regenerative cells, that they're normally called, um, out of the lipoaspirate that can be used for many other clinical uh, therapies today. Awesome. I talked to a doctor today that was still kind of on the fence about the stem cell subject matter. Is this something that could uh, put him over the edge in terms of accepting its viability in the marketplace? Quite possibly, because more, more of the common um, methods of uh, breaking down the lipoaspirin in order to draw out the regenerative cells, or stem cells as you can call it, is through using collagenase. And unfortunately right now the FDA kind of scrutinizes that and has not yet approved that type of process. But because of what tickle lipo, um, the innate abilities of mutational infrasonic liposuction can do, um, we are able to bypass that problem. Awesome. This, this has got to be good news for potential consumers of, of cosmetic procedures, correct? It's good news for everyone, actually. We had less downtime in the surgery room waiting for these cells to be processed. Very easy, very simple, and, and there's not a lot of uh, expensive equipment involved. Okay. Now, is this something that, uh, that is going to be uh, released anytime soon? Uh, yes, actually, there's uh, a bit of studies that we're doing right now, one with Dr. Aronowitz out of Cedar sinai that uh, we should be finishing up first quarter next year, and we're really anxious to release that, and we do have some uh, new preliminary data that's out regarding our parallel study that we released at the Coronado Stem Cell Convention earlier in the year. Awesome. David, thank you for sharing with us. It's an exciting time in the stem cell world, You're I know. You're welcome, William. All thank right. you. Thanks, Bye -bye. David. This is William Bruyer in Dallas, Texas.